Hi guys, welcome back to another Sunday with Sara. Uh, I guess that's what we are calling it now. Uh, if you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click on that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified every time I upload a video. This Sunday, I thought it would be cool that I would just go over all the winter skincare saviors that I have with me this winter. I have done one of these videos last year but most of the products last year were all over the place. They were uh, products from like out of India, they were products over the price budget. So this time I thought it would be all drugstore or like medical store. Like I get most of my skincare from the medical store. I don't know if you all do the same because most of the skincare brands are available at the medical. So let's just go over this. It's very affordable except I think one product but that also is very very feasible if you have if my justification is uh, valid, it is very very feasible to get your hands on that product. These products are what's keeping me going this winter because even though I'm oily skin, the winter is really bad for me. I love the season but I hate the skin during this season. So I get like these horrible dry patches near my nose, near my cheeks, or over here, near my mouth. And it looks very bad in like just daily life also. And then if I don't treat them, they keep getting like hard, harder and harder over there. Like the skin keeps getting hard. So it's very painful and if the skin like peels off later, it's very, very painful. So it's better to treat it at its root. So I'm going to share all the products that have been helping me. I hope it helps you too. So keep watching. I'm actually going to start with face and then we'll move on to body and lips. So for face, the basic thing you want to do is wash your face. Actually, I have no makeup on right now. I just have a little bit of that NYX um, liquid gold illuminator, mascara and lipstick. And this is the Nykaa Ultra Matte Lipstick in Cleopatra. This is the first time I put it on and I'm totally in love with the shade as well as the formula. I don't have too many of this to review, but just FYI, I really, really like the formula. It's so super matte. 100 times better than their so matte range. This formula is really really good. This was actually a Christmas gift to me by my aunt. So it's a really really special lipstick and it looks bomb. Uh, moving on to skincare. The face wash I've been using is the Himalaya Aloe and Neem face wash. I think um, as for oily skin girls, Aloe and Neem are two moisturizing products that are very very safe for your skin. I'm an acne prone skin type. So using any cream based or anything oil based for me is like literally danger to my skin. My pores will get clogged, I'll get acne really soon. So using something with aloe and neem in it is also purifying for the skin at the same time moisturizing. So this face wash I use throughout the year. I don't know how many times I've gotten through with this face wash. It costs rupees 117. I think it's a staple in every girl's bathroom and it's also available at your medical stores. So very very easy to get your hands on a Himalaya Neem face wash. Next for the moisturizer, actually I go in with serum first and then moisturizer. I've just recently gotten my hands on the Body Shop Vitamin E serum. This is the serum I've been using in the winter. As you all know the Body Shop Tea Tree Anti-Imperfection Serum is the serum that saved my life and got rid of all the acne scars I had going on but this serum is a new one I recently purchased it's the vitamin E intense moisture serum it's a hydration intense hydration serum so uh, I really really like this because, because this has actually been the savior for me with serums they are better for your skin because they are very very concentrated so a little bit goes a long way you should never overdo with your serum like two drops or like a like a teeny tiny amount and just like rub it between your fingers and all over your face so that's what I do with this two times a day in the morning before I leave for college and in the night before I go to bed I apply the serum and it takes care of all those dry patches I was talking about and it's actually a cure more than just a temporary basis it's a cure it's, I have seen a difference between those dry patches over the week I've been using it and although this causes a uh, cost causes this costs 12.95 bucks you need such a little amount that 
your entire family can use this like that's what i mean like me and my mom use this so uh just a teeny tiny amount for this small bottle i know it's expensive but i feel like it's definitely worth it the next product i'm going to talk about is a moisturizer now you know the brand sebamed is my favorite brand the clear face uh, care gel from their um skin moisturizer range is the moisturizer i use throughout like during the summers under my makeup any season i use that and last winter video i had i did mention the clear face care gel but this winter my skin has been acting up a little too much so i thought i would go for the moisturizing cream and this is what i picked up for this winter this is the sebamed moisturizing cream it uh, says it has 2% vitamin e it's for sensitive skin which is my skin type Uh, vitamin E neutralizes free radicals, protects the elasticity of the skin, and the pH value of 5.5 supports the function of biological acid mantle. Everything sounds good, and it's really, really good. The only thing is, it's very, very greasy. So you take a little amount. Even with the care gel, I have noticed that a little goes a really long way. So these are for 500. This is 530, and that one is for 500 rupees. And for oily skin girls, I do. recommend a gel based moisturizer but this winter i feel my skin was drier so i went for a cream based but i didn't want to go with like nivea or garnier and lakme because i really don't know what they put in their products because it clogs my pores like this like i i always get a breakout when i use some of those creams so i'm very careful that i use this brand because it's a medical brand it's a like it's like johnson and johnson so sebamed is like that it's for children and it's available at your drug store as well as your nika online so i ordered this on nika i really like it it's very greasy and creamy so it's going to like you feel you're getting nicely nourished and moisturized but i don't like to use this during the daytime because then my skin gets sticky and i don't like it but uh, during the night it's very very hydrating and then morning my skin feels good so i'm liking this product as of now you need so little that i don't think i'll repurchase this i'll just get this over with in the month of jan and feb and then from march we know the mumbai weather is just going to explode so like i previously mentioned that aloe and neem are the two basic products you should use if you're a oily acne prone skin girl facing dry skin girl issues so this uh jeju aloe uh whatever it's called the jeju aloe thing from the face shop i got hands on this i think last winter and all in summer and i really really like aloe vera gel it's a big big tub like you can see compared to my face <laughs> it's a very very big tub and it's i think 399 or somewhere in 300 ka range and it's a big tub you get a lot how much do you get Okay, 300 ml. So you get 300 ml for 300 bucks almost. It's 99% aloe. I like this gel a lot. It smells really, really good. It's very, very smooth. And once you put it on, it will dry in like five minutes. So you can use it as a moisturizer at night and sleep with it. But I think this has a very strong fragrance, which acts with my skin. So if you can notice, I have this. pimple right here i don't know if the camera is picking it up but i just got it this morning and the only new thing i did was apply this keep it on my skin all night last night so i think that was a mistake i made i shouldn't have done that when it comes to natural aloe vera plants that's the best thing to use i do have it but i'm very lazy to like remove it and peel it and stuff like that if i'm using that i keep it all throughout the night and my skin is safe but this they do use some preservatives and some fragrance for the cosmetic appearance and because of that i feel like 2 to 3 hours it's safe but like the whole night your skin might react to the fragrance which mine just did so i like this gel a lot because it's very travel friendly if you want a good aloe vera gel it's inexpensive it's a lot of amount it's a plastic jar it's travel friendly keep it on your vanity whenever you're feeling dry to supply it will soak in and uh, you can also use it underneath your makeup but i don't do that but you can uh so that's i just wanted to give a quick shout out to this aloe vera gel cuz i've been liking it a lot this winter i got a long bag but i'm still using it and face shop is available in the nika stores they have their own store also now somewhere i'm not sure I think it's in Mumbai. I'm not sure, or Delhi, one of the places. And uh, it, they also are available on online on Nike. So again, an easily accessible brand. Now, when it comes to face and body, somewhere in between lie these amazing Vaseline jars. 
this is my childhood and this is my entire life. I've used Vaseline and I think everybody has used Vaseline and owns a Vaseline jar in their house. But now they are available in so many new flavors and that's really exciting. This is the Light Hydrating Jelly Aloe Fresh and this is the uh, Vaseline Rich Conditioning Cocoa Butter and I also have the original one. So I have like one in all three sizes. I'm so obsessed. This one goes in my bag, okay, like the little one when I have dry hands. I don't use a hand cream because what you use on your body, you can use on your hand. And like, hand cream, why do you need to buy? Like, same thing. Laga, but if you use hand cream, laga, what do you do? I wash my hands every time I eat or do anything. So I wash my hands so many times a day. Like, hand cream is a useless product for me. So I carry this one Vaseline petroleum jelly in my bag. It goes on everything. It goes on my lips, on my hands, every other part of my body. So this is like the travel size, very cute. This is the original one, the skin protecting jelly. Then this one is the aloe seed. It's a big, big jar, okay? And these are very inexpensive. This is 250 ml for, how much is this? I don't know the price. Uh, shit, the price is actually not mentioned, but I'm sure it's very inexpensive. This is 250 ml jar. And this is the 100 ml jar. This is what I am using because I'm obsessed with how this smells. It's so... <sighs> the cocoa butter smell is my favorite smell of all. This is the best for like your feet, you know, like the cracks of your feet. And I love putting this at night all over my intense dry areas. That is the soles of my feet, my elbows, my kneecaps. Like those are the regions that get the driest. and need like a lot of moisture so this is thick and like real real filled with goodies so uh, i like putting this all in those areas and yeah it really helps i have gotten through with like so much already i just got this new packet obsessed with vaseline i can use it on my face also so like these areas which get very dry i take a little bit and like massage it and it never reacts with my skin so i don't know if it's a good thing to do but i love the vaseline petroleum jelly and finally, for the entire body, I love the Vaseline. Uh, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to a lot of moisturizers that I've gotten over with in only December. The Nivea Body Milk, very good, very smooth, and very easily absorbs into the skin. The Vaseline Cocoa Butter, the Mo Intense Care Moisturizer, the one which comes with the pump, amazing one. I have the travel size, so it gotta work quick. And now I just got my hands on this huge bottle of Saint Eyes Skin Renewing Collagen and Elastin Moisturizer. This is a big, big bottle. It's 621 ml and it costs uh, around 650 bucks. So I think it's a fair price. You're paying like one rupee each ml almost. Uh, this has collagen and elastin. It revitalizes your skin, renewing its natural radiance. It actually smells like nothing. I like that. It smells very refreshing it's not very yummy or very um, like winter comforting it's more fresh fragrance so I like that it's a little different among the different fragrances I have going on here it's a big bottle I'm going to take the entire chat ready to get over with this and St. Ives is a very very good skincare brand it's just very difficult to acquire like so many of their products which I loved in the past their body washes and their uh, they have vanilla and shea butter body wash was one of my favorites and they have discontinued it like whatever I like from their brand they just go ahead and discontinue it like what the hell and now I've finally gotten hands on this from Nykaa so I hope they don't discontinue this because I'm really liking this body cream moisturizer so yeah St. Ives any skincare product I can totally trust like Himalaya, Vaseline, St. Ives, Body Shop these are like brands you can trust with your skincare Semamed yeah and especially when you're as sensitive of a skin as mine uh, you need to be really really careful what you're putting on your skin and I am, I scrutinize every product if it doesn't work for me I'm never never touching it back now for lip care I have a few small cute cute products uh, the first one is this wet and wild um, perfect pout lip scrub this is what it looks like it's available only in one um, taste or shade as of now this is the watermelon and it's very yummy tasting smelling whatever it's very coarse and thick 
like you can probably tell uh, over here it's very very thick and it uh, you just need like 2 seconds or i can say 20 seconds of rubbing on your uh, lips after like an intense day of liquid lipstick or now that the, it's winter you get dry chapped lips and those uh, lips start peeling off so a lip scrub is good cuz it moisturizes at the same time takes your dead skin layer off so this one is really good very inexpensive i paid around 2 300 for this and uh, you're never going to get through with the entire thing it's also sugar free as if i'm not wrong it's cruelty free wet n wild is a cruelty free brand it's available on nike it smells exactly like boomer gum like the boomer chewing gum we had as kids it smells exactly like that so i love how it works it's in five Five minutes keeping on your lips, it will do the job of moisturizing. And later, I just take a tissue and wipe off the the coarse particles and lick the rest off, like with my tongue, because it tastes really good. And I don't think it's bad for your health. Like, come on, burgers and fries are worse. Okay, so uh, I do that at night after an intense day of liquid lipstick, and then I put in, put on a lip balm. It either has to be one of these two. or uh, this is the EOS lip balm which is not easily available in india so i have mentioned the maybelline baby lips lip balm the EOS lip balm is a staple in and it just rolled off rolled right off okay so i'm not going to pick it up now it's rolled right off it's not available in india and uh, it's only available drug store abroad it's very very thick and moisturizing it tastes this is the summer fruit flavor the red one and i've spoken about it a lot of times in the past So I really like that one, but not available here. So the Maybelline Baby Lips, of course, a staple in every girl's bag. Um, this is in the shade Cherry Kiss. It's my favorite. This is probably the fifth, sixth bottle or tube of this lip balm I have because it's my favorite. They've come out with so many variants of baby lips as of now, but I, I detest everything. I've tried all of them and I don't like any but this staple. One and this comes with if you're not a big fan of the color, I think uh, the antioxidant berry is the one without any color in the blue packaging, which is my, what my friend uses. And the pink packaging I like because it gives a little bit of tint and a little bit of plumpness to your lips, and it looks good. Like if you're going to college and don't want to apply lipstick, you can just put this on, put it in your pocket. It's always in my jean pocket. so i can like constantly uh, keep putting it on it goes away very quickly that's what i've noticed but um, it moisturizes really well i i'm not a big fan of the nivea and the vaseline lip balms because i just not use them enough so i'm not going to lie i just don't use them enough i don't buy them i don't go ahead and use them minimum this gets over i just keep repurchasing this one cuz i love it so much so that was it that was all i had to mention uh, when it comes to everything winter skin care lip body and face uh, i hope you liked my collection of products i kept it very simple to the point and available in your market easily so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel also also please click on the notification bell because you never know when i'm going to upload a video so that will keep you notified and updated and leave your recommendations in the comment section i will see you next time bye mwah